There is a difference between the presence of God and the glory of God. There will always be presence when glory shows up. But there's not always glory when presence shows up. Uh, now, the presence is the prerequisite for the glory, but it cannot be the substitute for the glory. What has happened is that many of us have taken what God intended to be a vehicle and we have made it a destination. God never, never intended for the presence to be the place that we live. The presence is the vehicle by which we access the glory. When all you have is presence, you leave with a memory. But when you experience glory, when you experience glory, there is a residue that's left on you. One of the problems is we've been coming to church and having these wonderful presence experiences and by time as we sleep, it's done. Every divine assignment requires divine power and enablement. And to operate in divine power and enablement, you need the presence of the Holy Spirit alive in your life. And in order for him to come alive in your life, you have to tarry and tarry requires time. 2018 is going to be a year of intimidating challenges and assignments and instructions from God and if you don't get out of the mirror of selfie and ussy you will miss your capacity for what God is about to do in the next season of your life this may be the season to cut off your camera this may be the season to get out of the mirror because this is the season you've got to turn your attention to the hills from whence cometh your help I'm telling you you gonna need help for 2018 I'm the help in your boo and in your husband it ain't your wife, it ain't your friend, it ain't your co-worker, it ain't even your prayer partner. The help you gon' need for this next season of your life is the paraclete, it's the comforter, it's the enabling power of the Holy Spirit. He don't come for church, he comes for your life.